Ooh, what's up everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. We're back at it again with another video. We're going to be starting in more advanced things, starting off with global events and sinking objects, since that seems to be pretty much the second question everyone seems to have right after how do I make a mirror. So, we're going to be doing that with a couple of different objects today, just because you can apply what we're going to be making today to multiple things. So, kind of want to show you how to do it to multiple things. So, black box, click it, changes the material. Normally this would only show for whatever player clicked the box. However, there is a way to do a networking event to send it to everybody. So let's change uh, views here. Give me my, oh, there we go. So you can see it changed it on both screens. We'll click it from this guy, change it on the other one. So we'll be doing this with a mirror and then the same material change and then maybe a video player or something else. We'll see, but let's get right into it. <clears throat> okay, so we're just starting with a few basic objects. We just have a plain cube here called art thing. Nothing fancy about it at all. We have a VRC mirror, which you can just type in mirror and you have a VRC mirror here. Nothing's been done to it. And we have another cube, which we'll be using as our um, simple button toggle for the mirror. Okay, so let's get started. So once you get all these three in place, make sure you go ahead and do get all three of them and good to go. We're gonna start with our cube. First thing we're gonna do is add an Udon behavior. We can, uh, Uncheck that, I believe. Let's get a new asset. And we have a fresh variable. So go ahead and type in udon. And we have an udon of behavior. And we are going to want to go ahead and drag our object in as well. So we dragged our cube object in. We have a variable here called, well, nothing. It's called new variable. This one is an udon behavior that we got through clicking the plus button here and typing udon. And this one we dragged in. So let's rename this cube to mirror toggle. And rename this as well. And new variable is going to be, actually we're gonna call this target, target object and target script. You can just leave those there for now. We're gonna be creating a lot of nodes here. You can do that through right clicking and hit node or you can hit spacebar and you have quick search. So type in interact, invent interact is what we're looking for. And udon, udon behavior, send custom network event. We're gonna create node again, udon behavior, get program variable, and we're gonna connect these noodles. Okay, 
type in event, event custom. Put this under here. Udon behavior, get program variable over here. Game object set active. Type in boolean negate or any as your unary negation. Can never say that. And game object get active self. And we're going to connect all of these noodles. Zoom in here so you guys can see. Sorry about that. Go to this top one first. Zoom in. You can see everything. Leaving these blank right now. Everything is blank. Okay, under custom event, we're going to type in toggle object. Toggle object is an OBJ, not the full object, abbreviated. This is going to be a target object. It's going to be target script. And we're going to make a few more nodes. Right, we're going to need another custom event. So you can just hit Control C, Control V. This one is going to be called. Glo oop, oop. Global toggle. Let me zoom in here. We are going to want to create a node called Udon Behavior Send Custom Network Event and an Udon Behavior Get Program Variable again. Event name toggle object. All right. So essentially, the one thing we're pretty much done here, but the one thing we didn't fill in was this send custom network event here under the interact grouping. And the reason is here, we're either going to put global toggle here, or we're going to put uh, toggle object. Because global toggle, toggle does toggle object for everybody. Well, if you put toggle object in, it um, only does it for a single player. So that's how you can reuse this script for everybody or make two of them to do various different things um, for that, for if you want it local or global. So we are doing a global toggle video, so we're gonna do global toggle. Okay. So let me do a brief view over of this. Oh, and we forgot this one right here. See, this is why we do that. Target script. There we go. Make sure everything is spelled right. Okay. And make sure these are public as well. Is important and 
Uh, you can see they are here. Okay, so we want this target object. We want it to target the VRC mirror. And the target script is the mirror toggle itself. So one quick thing I caught real is um this right here was a Udon behavior send custom network event. It needs to be a send custom event. in game. Alright, well, I'm not sure why I put this thing so far away from my spawn, but let's uh, get the first guy over there. Okay, you can see the mirror's on. Let's go ahead and turn it off. Leg's gone, imagine that. And then let's get our second character over there. If you do. And we can see the mirror is off. And I know we said do, we do the material change here in this video, but it's getting a little long already. So we're going to keep this one at the mirror toggle, and I'm going to go ahead and keep recording and break it into a second video for the material changer. And, and you can, we'll just keep going from there, because I bet you each one of these is going to be an entire video. Um, if this worked for you, you appreciate it. All that good stuff make sure you leave a like and subscribe and let me know down in the comments below or i don't know do one of the three appreciate any of them have a great day guys see you all next time